Well, hello, Pastor Doug here, and welcome to our initial showing of the Valley Briefing. Uh, I wanted to start this, and we'll be doing this Monday through Saturday. Uh, we'll have it on uh, 11 a.m. for you on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, just wanted to have a daily time where we can just kind of update you. Things are changing so much with this coronavirus, and particularly things that affect you uh, and our church. So I just want to kind of update you. Uh, so we'll be giving that information. Who would have thought two weeks ago that this thing that we would throw up in trees to uh, prank people and just, just throw it away after we bring it down from the trees, that people now are lining up an hour before the store opens to buy these things. This is a hot commodity just in two weeks time. That's just indicative of how fast things uh, have changed. And so we've had a lot of changes here at Valley and uh, you know those things, most of them we post them, but just let me just kind of just go over and just tell you how things have changed so fast here. Uh, our church picnic that was scheduled for next weekend uh, is postponed. We will reschedule that most likely in the fall. Uh, our marriage retreat that we should be heading down tomorrow to uh, is been uh, pushed back to May 15th through the 17th, and we'll have more information about that on how you can get uh, signed up again for that. I'm hoping that we can have it. I hope we'll be through this thing by then. Uh, Women's Ministry Monday Night Connect on March 30th, of course, is postponed. Uh, we were going to introduce to you a seven days of prayer starting here soon. Uh, that is postponed. Um, our youth spring break trip is postponed. Uh, you'll need to go to our website to see the life groups. Some, some groups have, have chosen to meet that are less than 10. Others are postponed. So it's just brought major changes. And I was talking with some of the staff. Uh, Vicki and I, in fact, funny story this morning, uh, Vicki, uh, I always have a, an English muffin or a piece of toast in the morning with my second cup of coffee. And uh, t then Vicki will typically put it away for me in the refrigerator. I noticed she took the jar of jelly and put it in the sink and walked off. And I said, well, thank you for putting that jelly up for me in the sink. And we laughed. And she said, I, my mind's thinking so much. I said, I know. And around here at Valley Vegas, we're just trying to think how we're doing church now online. What does uh, meeting together look like and all the changes? And I, we just kind of find ourselves in stupor thinking through some things. So I'm sure that's going on with you as well uh, in your situation, your new world. And so anyway, we want to just kind of uh, be with you during this time and just go over some of these things uh, with you and we'll kind of walk through this thing together. Uh, what we are doing, again, just a reminder, uh, if you haven't heard, we are having online services every Wednesday at 7 p.m. We had a great uh, service last night, almost 1,000 views. And uh, then we will be also uh, live streaming live 9 a.m. Uh, on Sundays uh, through Facebook and YouTube. And of course, then you can watch the rebroadcast uh, if you can't make that 9 a.m. Uh, live uh, stream of it. But we'll be doing that until further notice. Hopefully sooner than later, we can get back where we're meeting uh, live together, but we're just kind of, uh, uh, it literally is a day by day type thing. Uh, we're accessing, not accessing, we're assessing the needs uh, of people. Again, everything is new. Each day unfolds new things. Uh, what we've kind of moved to here uh, at the church is finding out how can we help our people directly affected with the coronavirus. And so uh, we are making lots of phone calls, ch uh, checking on our elderly. Uh, we know that some bad news has already come to several folks. Layoffs have already started, especially here in Las Vegas. Huge around the world, but especially here in Las Vegas. So uh, those things have happened. The pain and the effect of that is going to be felt really probably starting April 1st when paychecks are missed. And so uh, we are already uh, assessing how we can meet needs. Uh, Really excited. We had a lady come in uh, this week and, and give a, a, a nice, sizable contribution to say, hey, I want this to go towards people who are going to need some help during this time. And I'm going to be talking more about how we can help uh, on Sunday. I'll be teaching on Sunday. Uh, excited about my message. Uh, excited about ways that I can introduce you how to help. And so we'll go over all that uh, on Sunday. But uh, yeah, it, is, it is unbelievable. It's, it's, I feel like it's a dream that we're in, but I just can't wake up. From it. Reality hit me personally yesterday when I went up to my favorite Roberto's 
And uh, I just assumed I would be able to eat there, uh, but no, I had to, to order the food and go home and eat. Now, the good news is I was able to eat Roberto's. The bad news is I wasn't able to, to uh, sit there and enjoy the salsa bar and all those things. Uh, I say that in jest, but again, it's just, everything is just new. And uh, I felt so bad for those workers. Typically, a very busy restaurant was just, just a handful of people trickling in. And so it's just changed our world, this thing. It's unbelievable. Uh, I want to just uh, let you know there's going to be a lot of time on your hands. Uh, a lot of people aren't working now. Uh, we're going to be providing uh, online some resources for your children soon that you can do some devotionals, different things you can do with your kids uh, during the time that some of you uh, moms have become uh, homeschool moms. And so uh, because school's not meeting, we'll, we'll get some of those resources to you. But uh, if you're a reader, uh, I want to uh, recommend a book that uh, my Bible study group just finished, and that is Max Lucado's book, How Happiness Happens. Timely book uh, for this time that we're in. And so you can get it on Amazon. I think it's about 12 bucks on Amazon for the actual paper. A uh, Kindle would be a lot less. But a great book, uh, Max Lucado's How Happiness Happens. Uh, you've got some spare time in your hands. I would recommend that book. Uh, for you during this time. I do want to just read as we close, I just want to read a, a portion of scripture that uh, came to my mind this morning. It's in Psalm 37, uh, verse 23. Uh, King David says this, the steps of a man are established by the Lord and he delights in his way. When he falls, he shall not be hurled headlong because the Lord is the one who holds his hand. I've been young and now I am old. Yet I've not seen the righteous forsaken or his descendants begging bread. All day long he is gracious and lends, and his descendants are a blessing. I can attest to that. I've, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. I'm, I'm, we're hearing stories of people that all of a sudden have come into some money, you know, in the last six months or so out of nowhere, and now they say, aha, now I realize why God gave me that extra money, or I, I realize why God told me to start storing up. So God has already begun to take care of us. And I, I want to encourage those of you that have lost jobs uh, to, to, to just take hold of the scripture. I personally believe that, that you will be taken care of. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Now, how God provides uh, is varied. Uh, his provision, he's promised to meet our needs, that you'll have enough food to eat, you'll have a roof over your head, you'll have enough to take care of your family and children. I believe that. Uh, oftentimes he'll use people, he'll use the church, he'll use supernatural divine means, he'll use hard work, creativity. God's very vast and varied in how he takes care of us. And so uh, you just lay hold of that, stay positive. We will get through this thing together. And uh, we will look back and have God's stories of how God did some neat things for us during this time. But, but let me just close in prayer uh, our time today. Father, uh, Lord, we are in uncharted territory, unprecedented times. I've never lived through anything like this personally, Lord, in my life. And so, Father, we just pray, God, that, Lord, as we go through this time, God, that you would talk to us, you would give us wisdom, Lord, I pray that you would just, just give us faith, give us Rhema's words that would encourage us to let us know that you're there. And Father, I pray against this virus. I pray, God, that this coronavirus, God, would die. I pray, God, that as we do our part, as our nation and our world isolates to stop the spread of the disease, God, that, Lord, you would do your part and, and, and fast forward, bless this recovery effort, God, where it would be uh, sooner than later that our country can get back to normal. In the meantime, God, I pray, Father, that Lord, uh, as people are, are, are fearful or people are anxious, that would lead to opportunities to share Christ, that sure foundation, God, that we would be quick to share with other people and be the light that you've called your people to be. And so, Lord, we trust you. Give us faith. Take care of those who need provision. And uh, we believe those things, God, to be done. And ask for those things to be done, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. So tune in tomorrow, 11 a.m. Uh, for the Valley Briefing. God bless you. Have a great day.